Aircraft carriers are large warships that can launch and recover aircraft, and they are the centerpiece of naval aviation. Aircraft carriers are usually very big because they need to accommodate a large number of planes, crew, equipment, and fuel. Smaller carriers with fewer planes may seem simpler, cheaper, and easier, but they also have many disadvantages compared to larger carriers. One of the main disadvantages of smaller carriers is that they have less striking power and versatility than larger carriers. A carrier with only five planes can perform only a limited range of missions, such as reconnaissance, patrol, or escort. A carrier with 50 or more planes can perform a variety of missions, such as air superiority, strike, electronic warfare, anti-submarine warfare, or command and control. A larger carrier can also launch more planes at once, creating a bigger impact on the enemy. Another disadvantage of smaller carriers is that they have less survivability and resilience than larger carriers. A carrier with only five planes is more vulnerable to enemy attacks, such as missiles, torpedoes, or submarines. A carrier with 50 or more planes can defend itself better, using its own planes as well as its escort ships. A larger carrier can also absorb more damage and continue to operate, while a smaller carrier may be crippled or sunk by a single hit. Also, smaller carriers have less efficiency and economy than larger carriers. A carrier with only five planes requires almost the same amount of crew, maintenance, and support as a carrier with 50 or more planes. A larger carrier can achieve more economies of scale and lower operating costs per plane. A larger carrier can also stay at sea longer and travel farther than a smaller carrier, reducing the need for frequent refueling and resupply. If you are to choose between a big aircraft carrier or a small aircraft carrier, which one will you go for? Let me know in the comments section. Have a good day!